right, what's up everybody? So today we're gonna to be talking about saving you some money for the holidays. Here I have my Alora Paris Professional Soprano Saxophone, the straight one. And here I have my Alora Chicago 580 Alto Saxophone. Quick disclaimer, ladies and gentlemen, I do have an affiliate link with Woodwind Brasswind, but I did pay for these instruments out of pocket. They did not send me this to do a review, so these are my actual personal instruments that I own and play professionally. Now, these are low-cost professional saxophones, and a lot of people would say, well, you as a professional saxophone player, why would you choose these saxophones? I have a lot of videos on this soprano showing you exactly why I love this thing and it is my favorite soprano and when it came to getting this alto this alto is now being discounted at the price that I was able to get it at which to me that was just the best value per performance of the saxophone also because it's the holiday season the sopranos and a lot of other things are actually discounted on woodwind brasswind I will post a link for Woodwind Brasswind, if you are interested in buying these instruments at an amazing discounted price while they last. And also, I will post links for the reviews that I've done of both of these instruments. So for the soprano, I am playing as my main mouthpiece, my Yamaha 4C mouthpiece. You can also pick this up on Woodwind Brasswind. I also bought this with my own money, did not reach out to Yamaha. As far as reeds go, I have Van Dorn, Red Box Reeds, Green Box, and sometimes even Lavaz Reeds that I use. And also, I use this BG Ligature for the Soprano. Also, we have this stand that's here. This is one of the K and M stands. You can find all of this on Woodwind, Brasswind. They have some really nice holiday specials going on right now. So for alto, as far as the mouthpiece goes, I'm using the A uh, V16 S Plus. This is the A6. I use Van Dorn Red Box Reeds for this instrument also. And this is one of the Compass Ligatures. I haven't seen the Compass Ligatures on sale anywhere for a while. I don't know if they still make them, but this mouthpiece just uses your standard ligatures. You can just pick out whatever it is that you want. And right here, I have the Hercules stand. Uh, most or all of this is available through Woodwind Brasswind. So let me play some clips of me playing these instruments in the best scenarios and then I'll use this room to play both of these instruments in this video. You can get an idea of something that you want, take advantage of these amazing discounts because I did. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. This is gonna be my main room, I think, at least for a while until it gets too hot here in the summertime. But at any rate, I'm switching things up a bit. I think the acoustics is better. I don't have all that street noise going on. You don't have to worry about all the geese. <laughs> All right, let's do it.
ladies and gentlemen, if you like this kind of stuff, you can support the channel by buying me a piece of cake. And also, I have my merch and my Alto and Tenor Altissimo books available as a digital purchase. There'll be a link in the description below. Alrighty then. You see a lot of videos, ladies and gentlemen, of people comparing really, really cheap saxophones to very expensive ones. Personally, I think it's not fair to you as a consumer, nor is it fair to the manufacturer when people do this because these comparisons aren't really done in a way that makes any sense other than just trying to sell you the cheap thing because they can move them faster. Now, the big reason why you really don't want to pay less than $1,000 for a saxophone is because of the maintenance cost of the saxophone, especially at that price. These instruments are made at a cost, very low one at that, so the pads and more specifically the tone holes aren't going to be very good. Doesn't matter what kind of saxophone you play, a basic repad is gonna cost you on an alto saxophone around $300. So if you pay five, $600 for a saxophone, you're looking at eight to $900 within a couple of years at best on these saxophones. You're gonna be playing them regularly. It's gonna be played by a kid. You're gonna have candy and cake and food and all the kind of stuff that comes with being at that age playing an instrument. Plus, saxophone is a very easy instrument to get started with. So you're gonna make progress very quickly. So you're gonna very quickly outgrow this instrument. You can't sell it for anything because as soon as you buy it, it's junk. It's just so much easier for someone else to buy a new saxophone. So you're already out anywhere from five, 600, maybe $900. And now you want a new saxophone. So for me, just start at a decent place. Pads are supposed to last eight to 10 years. I started buying Cannonball tenor saxes and around 2001 and to 2021 to now, for those instruments that I had, I never changed the pads on them. I had them for about four or five years before I got the new, latest, greatest, whatever, but still, I never changed any of the pads on any of those saxophones. So my advice to you is look between the $1,000 to $1,500 range for a new saxophone and even take a look into financing, making little installment plans. Plus, you can gauge whether you or maybe someone you're buying the saxophone for is interested enough to keep going and you can still resell them at a decent price if you find out that this is not for you. Okay, that's all I got for you, ladies and gentlemen. So thanks for tuning in. See you.